Using stable diffusion, we're gonna take our photographs to the next level. We will take a normal photograph and we will change the outfit and at the same time, we will also change the background. So this entire method is basically known as photo manipulation. Initially, we used to do it using Photoshop. It was a hard task, but with the help of artificial intelligence, we can do this in just a few minutes. So go ahead, take your camera and click a random photo of your friend or even yourself. And let's get down to stable diffusion. But before we proceed, if you want to see more such amazing fashion and clothing made in stable diffusion, you can follow me on Instagram and check out my content over there. You can even question and message me on your queries and even send me your photographs to edit them. This is the image that we are going to use for our edit today. I have masked out the subject and now I'm placing it in the background. This background was downloaded from Google. It's a free background. And let's place the subject in a convenient location. All right, this looks good. Now I'm going to change the aspect ratio of the background. The background is rectangular. The entire image looks rectangular. I'm going to make it square. The width and the height of the image should be same to make it look like a square. All right. Now you see that we are trying to match the lighting of the background with the subject. The lighting of the background is coming from the right hand side and we see that the subject is also getting a light from the right hand side. So if you match the lighting, the output result will look much more realistic. All right, let's scale it up a bit. Okay. All right, this looks good. Now we're gonna do some tweaking. We're gonna do some fixing. You see the image has some white boundaries. Uh, we will try to use the eraser tool to clear out these white boundaries. I'm going to speed up the process for you over here. Once this is done, we will make sure that the contrast and brightness of the subject is as close to the background as possible. We will definitely not be able to make it absolutely same but we'll try to get it as close to the background as possible. Okay. Now we're gonna make sure that the background looks a little more blurry than the subject. This is done just to make sure that the subject pops out more than the background. We want more attention on the subject and less attention on the background. Now this is the Stable Diffusion website link. We're gonna open it. And this is the automatic 1111 stable diffusion. So we go to image to image, we drag and drop that image that we had. Yeah, and then the next step is going to be writing the text that we want. We want it to be a Wes Anderson style. So that's what we write. We also do some additional tweaking like we let tell the artificial intelligence that the background is blurred. This is one girl, beautiful cinematic. And then we add the enhancers. The enhancers make sure that the image is better and more realistic. In the negative prompt, we write the things we don't want. We increase the sampling steps to 30 to give a more realistic result. Batch count two, we want two output and choose between them. And then down to control net, we're gonna use open pose so the open pose control net okay let's use canny for this one the canny control net makes sure that the con that the ai stable diffusion understands the borders of the image so the hand lines the hair lines and also the body structure will be nicely understood by the ai and now we generate we see that the image is generating i've sped it up but it took about three to four minutes to generate each image. Now we wait till the generation is done. You can see how Stable Diffusion creates an image out of noise. All right, so we have two images. They look absolutely low quality, but that doesn't matter. I choose this one. I choose the second one because the second one is more cinematic. So the next step will be to upscale it, we send it to extras and then click on ESR Gun 4X and generate to upscale it four times. The upscaling is done. We save the image. And then, and then the next step is taking the image to Photoshop. Okay. So we have to make sure that the face is our subject's original face. 
so we erase out the incorrect face to reveal the correct one and also we make some other changes to make the image look better okay okay do some tweaking I've sped up the process but you can take your time to get this done I've also painted out the hands so the hand look realistic as it was in the original image now we reduce the size of this image and we take it back to stable diffusion now the work we have done till now is only 50% the next 50% is the real magic we're gonna take this edited image to stable diffusion to upscale it and this is going to be a artificial intelligence upscale we use batch count one we use the same seed as before and on the control net we also put down the same image okay and we use tile yeah we use control net is more important than under scripts we use ultimate SD upscale we use 4x ultra sharp scale from image size and fix the seams and then we click on generate yeah and then the upscale image is being generated now this upscaled image is an AI generated upscaled image so it's going to be a bit different you'll see that the face has changed yeah we can upscale a bit further this is going to be a rough upscale and then we're going to put it down to the original image and now we're going to do the same methods we're going to perform the same methods and reveal the face and the hands we go to layer mask reveal all and use the brush tool to erase out the incorrections okay so we reveal the face you can see that the image looks really seamless it really looks like the subject was there in this particular image setting all along even we have been able to change the outfit into a better outfit we do some tweaking and make it look better and after everything is done we will be doing some color corrections or and color gradings just to make the image look even better we play with the colors and the sliders of camera raw filter you don't have to follow these exact methods you can use your own method as you can see that this edited image with some added noise looks even far better now most of the work is done and this is a technique where we're gonna make sure that the noise is present on the highlight section so we go to threshold we go to load selection we copy the portion of the highlight and place the noise only on the highlights yeah so now if you see the image the noise is present but not everywhere only in the highlight location and not in the shadows and this makes it look even more professional